Lifting the Kelly from the ground to the rig floor using a mobile crane is acceptable on a land rig. The problem is the lifting method and personnel exposure, not the task itself. This real rig scenario shows why lifting a Kelly from the ground to the rig floor can be extremely dangerous if done incorrectly. This is a Kelly being lifted from the ground to the rig floor. Looks normal? Let's examine it closely. Notice the Kelly is tilted, it's a single point lift. The center of gravity is off-center, causing rotation. This is physics in action, not luck. Now look at the floor men. They are standing directly under the path of the Kelly. This is extremely dangerous. No personnel should ever be in the drop zone of a suspended load. There is no tag line to control swing or rotation, and the bottom end is completely uncontrolled. That means the load can swing or spin freely, a serious hazard. Also notice the air hoist. It is not allowed to share the load with the crane. Air hoists can only be used for positioning after the load is safely landed, never as a secondary lifting device. Best practice, use a two-point lift or spreader beam, establish exclusion zones, and use tag lines for control. Make sure everyone is outside the hazard area. If proper equipment or controls are missing, stop the lift. Improvisation is the fastest way to an accident. Remember, the load is not wrong, the lifting method is. Control the center of gravity, or gravity will control the lift. Subscribe if you work on oil rig. Watch the unsafe acts and conditions on oil rigs playlist on my channel.